Guys, today I want to bring you something that shocked me. I think it's going to shock you, but it proves as a valuable lesson to how social media is affecting us, the problems with this, and how we can take a bit of control back and how we can deal with the situation, not always being a, a victim to these platforms. A victim in the sense of, you know, wasting a lot of time on them, um, wasting a lot of peace of mind on them, and overall just being sucked into this world of fakeness as we're going to see today because um the reason for me starting or the reason for me to record this video in the first place is this channel called coves studio i think that's how you pronounce you can see it on the screen and overall it talks a lot about um beauty and you know what makes someone beautiful you know the, the eyes the nose mouth all that and it's quite honestly very interesting videos and then the most popular videos as you can see on your screen are uh, not all but a lot of them are instagram versus reality and what these videos are is him comparing pics that are posted on instagram that are posted on social media versus an actual pic of you know that day of that situation a real pic and what you always see not always but you know in these videos for the most part is that these amazing gorgeous uh, pics that you see online, people with proportions that couldn't even seem real, are in reality not real. They're edited, the, the skin is retouched, the proportions... Proportions? Yeah, proportions are altered, uh, their bodies are changed to look more appealing, much more appealing than they are in real life. And what this does is it creates quite a discrepancy between what we see online and what we assume to be real to then what actually is real in ourselves when we look in the mirror and you know if you're more adult if you're more grown up this won't affect you as much because you didn't grow up with as much as this and even though it will take its toll not as much because you know a bit more of what is real now i look at this and i see someone who's just growing you know who's growing up right now 10 12 13 14 years old growing up with this just looking at these things online thing it's real then looking at themselves not being like that because no one is for the most part especially how you see these edited pics and then you're you're always gonna think like well i'm just i'm not as good i'm not pretty i don't have as much value and it's overall gonna create a a horrible reality to live in and we can look at this through you know through the lenses of depression rates going up throughout the years especially in younger people um anxiety rates as well and a lot of it i believe can be associated with social media and the increase in prevalence of social media and a particular example i want to touch on today is going to be tiktok and because we are used to seeing these things in images and in images where it's easier to believe like oh there's photoshop it's, it's probably edited it's becoming more and more known these things but now when you look at a video you assume okay i'm seeing this person on a video this is how the person is and today I'm going to show you what I the shocking shocking thing to me which is this app called Pretty Up app. Now there was a video of Cove Studio actually um showing you oh there's like a little change in uh the video but I'm just I want to show you because this is um as someone who's not very familiar with TikTok and I don't really use that platform this was quite shocking. And I'm just going to move here to So essentially what this is is an app that allows you to change your body um, on video. And if that sounds too crazy for you, uh, let me just lower the volume here. Um, so we were not, I'll just mute it, it's not too relevant. Um, so, you know, you see in the video, it's just, it allows you to change your body, your face. Um, but, on, and you know, we know about face filters, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, but those are usually very clear that there's a filter there. Now this, is much much scarier um so original she's just showing um and then what we can do on the app and you see here um so it's like face shrink the face beauty so like filters then waste and enhance and now we're gonna look at this so if as you can see you can see on the screen she you know but here's very obvious because you see the mirror bending you see the the bed as well but as she's going to show you, you can do this um, in a way that, you know, doesn't, 
you know the mirror is not bending right now uh, bed is not, isn't as well and i hope she shows so after it's like her waist shrank it was this now it's like this and, and this will and i hope she shows the video yeah even stuff like you know as you see there oh my lord like that and then it's a video and you wouldn't you like if you just look first glance you know you're not on tiktok just looking there seeing like hmm, is, is the image um <laughs> is it bending you're just gonna assume it's real and not only you know it puts all these or i guess it's a part of the same issue where it puts all these expectations on people to look a certain way then you're going to use these things to look a certain way but then you're always going to live in this you know in this fear or in this anxiety of you know someone finding out you're not actually like that you knowing you're not like that and overall just being way too concerned with external opinions and we're going to touch on with today's quote at the end it, you know it allows you to do those things even on some videos if you're if you're on tiktok instagram reels you'll see if you look very closely sometimes body parts will like do a little change because it's like the filter you know kind of breaking up for a little bit and it's it's scary honestly because not so much for you know people who are more adult but you know if you're thinking about you know maybe your younger siblings growing up right now maybe you know when you have children or your children right now growing up they're going to be just looking at these things for the most part assuming it's real or if not you know being put under the same pressures to um, use them and then you're living in this reality where it's pretty much a lie it's pretty much you know no one is what they appear to be um this is the first step in you know how you look but then very quickly that can go and it already goes into what you believe in um the opinions you hold and you start you know bending everything to fit a fake persona or a fake reality that as it implies you know it's not real and living in that and, and because you know we can't pretend we can uh you know say oh no i'm good with these things it's okay but deep down if we know we're living a life we know we're not living to you know a, a truth if we know we're not living the truth that we know to be truth then we're going to be very conflicted there's going to be a um, you know a great disparity in what we believe to what we act what we do to what we look in this first stage and that you know even though maybe in the short term it won't cause that much cause that much impact in the long term the more you go like that living a lie knowing you're living a lie the more it's going to affect you on the inside because essentially you are corrupting yourself for some external reward and that never go ends well no matter how big the external external reward no matter how much you're gaining deep down you're going to know you know if you have a, a decent moral code you're going to know that it is not right and I want to share here with you the quote um, to end the video, the quote to end the video, which is going to be, the more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. And I really want to, yeah, and this quote is by Epictetus, uh, ancient philosopher, and, and this really stands out to me. First of all, great quote. I, that's why, you know, I really enjoy it. I, I brought it here, but it really is true, as I see it, that the more we start putting our focus in these things that we don't control, you know, how other people view us, uh, expectations for our body, uh, overall, overall, you know, if we're talking about these social medias, TikTok, Instagram, any of them, if we're putting our self-worth, our value, or, you know, our feeling good into if other people like our video, watch the reach it has, we're never going to be content. And if the quote says, the more we value things outside our control, the less control we have, also, when we say the less control, uh, here I believe for everything, you know, not only in these external uh, factors, but also at the, um, the core level, you won't have control over how you feel. And, you know, even though we're all going to be affected by outside things, the more we are putting that focus on them, the more we're going to rely on them to feel good. And, you know, if in one moment you can feel great because let's say your views are going up, plenty of likes, people love you. You also depend on the next them going down, people hating you, and now, you know, you're borderline suicidal. And so I want to end this video with that quote. Really enjoy it. Uh, but let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, a like is really appreciated. It really helps out. And I hope to see you here on the next video. Have a good one. Oh, and just a small thing that I forgot. I, I'm here after the video has ended as well. 
if you like the shirt and I have Memento Mori, um, a stoic concept that means uh, remember you die. So pretty much to accept that we're gonna die. This is what these concepts means. Remembering this moment will come and not to be depressed about it, not to be anxious about it, but to realize that we have to make the most out of the time we have right now. This is just a daily reminder I have for myself. Here, there's the quote, death smiles at every man and all a man can do is smile back. If you want that, link is gonna be below and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.